Hey guys, did you just get one of these Ultima Casa espresso machines from Walmart? It's a pretty heck of a deal. Looks just like another brand. Let me show you if you're having trouble trying to make a good espresso with this, the best way to utilize this machine. The first and biggest tip is the grinder is pretty good, but don't put beans in here and rely on the grinder settings. Instead, weigh your beans. So I've got 17 grams of coffee. So I know I'm getting 100% of the time 17 grams for a double shot. So let's go ahead and get that through. So pour the beans in, 17 grams. And now we'll hit the grind. It does a fairly decent job, but sometimes, and the reason why I don't trust this is because sometimes it's not very consistent, but since we know it's 17, I'll go ahead and hit it again. You see how some, a little bit more is coming out. I make sure all of it comes out. That also makes it good for the next one. So let's go ahead and take this out. So we'll go ahead, kind of tap it. Get it pretty level. If it's not getting level for you, uh, you can smooth it with your fingers. So let me go ahead and do that. I don't have a tripod, so I'm gonna do it out of the video. Okay, with my finger, I went ahead and leveled it a little bit more because that's really important. Go ahead and tap it again, and then we'll press it. So we'll hang it here and press it down with our dampening tool. If you have enough beans when you press it down and it's level with the lip, if it's not level, either add or remove until you get it just right. Um, but that's how you also know that we've pressed it down. We will place it in our machine. Since this was a double shot, we'll hit the double shot, and I'll let you see the gauge and the coffee pouring out. It should come out just right. that's where I like mine to sit you might want it different it's just up to you all right you can tell that's a beautiful shot And there you go, that's how you make a, a good shot straight out of here. The beans that I'm also using are the Costco House Blend. Um, I did the, a dark roast and it did okay, but a medium to a medium dark is probably the best. Um, <clears throat> so when you get your beans, you'll, you'll wanna put this like my dark roast. I had to do it almost pretty much out of five. Uh, but for these medium roast, uh, kind of right at the 15 is where it was. And literally what you want to do is when you get your beans, I literally take it all the way to the fine. And I, instead of using the gauge, I count. I just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So for these, the beans I just did was 10. And when you're going, if you're... If it's too um, too much pressure, then just go one one over and make it more coarse, and that will that will um, bring the pressure back down. If you have no pressure, then um, you you probably don't have enough beans at all. That's why it's important to use a scale. Uh, once we have the right amount of beans, it will make a beautiful shot like this. Um, and then here's what the pup looks like. It's going to come out soupy sometimes still. That's just normal. It uh, doesn't mean you had a bad shot, but it'll still come out. Uh, let me show you it coming out. All right, so here it is coming out. And there it is. So it's still a good puck. 
and it came out clean. So that's about as best as it's gonna do for this. Um, but it, it actually works. And I'll show a, a frothing video next. Uh, but this was just how to get a good shot. You wanna play with your beans. I pretty much went through a whole bag because I was couldn't figure it out. I'm new to this as well, but that's how I ended up getting uh, the best out of this machine if you've never used an espresso machine is to measure your beans measure this and count just don't go by this um, and then a good temp level it off you'll make a good shot hope this helps hope i was clear enough for it to make sense